Hey everybody, today is Western Day. So today I have my cow with me and he says, moo, hello. And I could not find my cowgirl hat so I went with a just a regular Yeti hat because I figured that's pretty Western to me. And so I'm also dressed up in my farm outfit. So I got my cowgirl boots on, a cool flannel. And I cannot wait to see what you post for your Western Day wear. All right, so let's figure out what day it is today, okay? All right, let's go over our month. Today is, or the month is April. How many syllables are in April? We can either clap it. We can either put our hand under our mouth to, or under our chin to figure out our syllables. Or we can even put our hands out like we did in class. So let's talk about April. Let's try it under our chin today. April. How many times did your chin drop? Twice. So if it drops twice, that means April is two syllables, okay? And when you have syllables, that means that's probably how many vowels are in there. So April. How many vowels do we have? A and I. Two vowels, so two syllables, two vowels. Pretty neat. All right, let's go through our days of our week, okay? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. All right, let's count to figure out what day it is today, what the date is. Starting with one. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Today is the fourteenth. All right, let's figure out what day of the week it is. If today is the fourteenth, we got to go up our column, and it is Tuesday. Here's my trick question for you. We need to figure out what Tuesday is it. Is it the first Tuesday of April? the second Tuesday of April, the third Tuesday of April, or the fourth Tuesday of April. Let's see, how do we figure that out? Can we remember? What we do is go to the column Tuesday and then count down your weeks. Do we count this one? No, were we in April then? No, nope, that was still March, so we start here. One, two, it's the second Tuesday in April. So. 14th is the second Tuesday of April. All right, then I have our days of the week sheet and I'm gonna just keep it up here. If we gotta put 14 on today, so we need to find our today. What day of the week did we say today was? Let's look, 14th, go up the column. Tuesday, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Put it on Tuesday. Then let's take these both off. If today is Tuesday, what was yesterday? To find out today, we go back one. So yesterday was Monday. And if today is Tuesday, yesterday was Monday, tomorrow will be what day? We find today and then we go one forward. So what day will it be tomorrow? Wednesday. We'll put it on there. Wish I had some help to do this though. All right, let's go through what we have to do today. So for our morning work, we are gonna be doing parts of a plant. And so I have this cool puzzle. What you need to do first. First step, don't pay attention to my directions up here. The first step I want you to do is color. Because if you try to glue it and then color, it might get mushy. But let's look at our picture. Try to color whatever you're coloring the picture. It comes out kind of similar. So if you see petals over here, don't you think you need to color them the same color as these petals? Probably if it's a puzzle. So I want you to color, cut, then put your puzzle together. You can either put it together and paste it to a piece of paper, or you can just put it to together and you can use it as like a puzzle at home, okay? On like the ground, if you would like. So we got parts of a plant. And then for handwriting, I have Mr. McGregor's Garden. So you may need some extra help on this. Okay, so we're learning about um, alphabetical order, and this is just a little bit, we've gone over it before in the class, and we'll be going over it some in May, or within the next week or so. 
but alphabetical order. So how we do that is, how does the alphabet go? A, B, C, D, and then so on, right? And so what that means is you will put them in order by their first letter, okay? So let's look over here. What's our first letter in the alphabet? A, and so do we have any vegetables that begin with an A? Onions, cabbage, potatoes, lettuce, beans, cucumbers, parsley, radishes, peas, or carrots. Anything with A? I didn't hear anything that started with an A. A, 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 nope. All right, so what's our next letter in our alphabet? What comes after A? B. All right, onions, cabbages, potatoes, lettuce, beans, B, B, beans. So we have beans, cucumber, we gotta check to make sure we don't have any more Bs. Cucumbers, parsley, radishes, peas, or carrots. B, B, beans. So do you think that's our first vegetable in alphabetical order? I think so. So we would put a one here because we're gonna number them first and then we're gonna write them after we number all of our. All right, so one because beans came first. All right, what's the next letter in the alphabet? A, B, C, C. So let's go through. Onions, cabbages, k, k, cabbages, potatoes. So we have cabbages. Let's go see if there's any more C's. Cabbages, potatoes, lettuce, beans, k, k, cucumbers. We have another C. Let's make sure we don't have any more. Cucumbers, parsley, radishes, peas, k, k, carrots. Uh-oh, we have three C's. We gotta figure out how they're gonna come in order. So what to do next is we're gonna look at the next letter, okay? Look at your next letter. So we have to look what comes in the second letter of your word. And we gotta start back at the beginning of our alphabet. Ah, ah. Well, let's look at cabbages. It starts with an A, but carrots also has an A as their second letter. What are we gonna do? We go to the next letter. So what's the next letter, the third letter for cabbages? B, and then the third letter for carrots is R. What letter comes first in the alphabet? B or R? Well, let's look. A, B. So, word, our second word would be cabbages. So we put one for beans, two for cabbages, and then what else had a C, A? K, k, carrots, whereas three. And then we had cucumbers. Cucumbers isn't up with uh, carrots and cabbages because look at their, net, their letter. It's far in the alphabet. It's U is the second letter. So I want you to try to do this on your own. I did kind of give you some extra steps, but if you're having trouble, get your parent. They will help you, okay? A way you can actually help yourself is you can write the alphabet um, out up on, your, on a piece of paper next to it, or you can even write it up here if you want, like up at this line. You can just write the alphabet at the top, and so you can go through and see what letter comes before? It might help you, okay? And then for math, we're gonna be doing a workbook page and we're gonna be meeting on Zoom. And so we're gonna be getting, um, we're gonna be working on the first page of chapter nine and it's page 297 and the back side is 298. Just keep them in your workbook and I cannot wait to meet with you on Zoom, okay? And just be ready for the time that you signed up for and have your coins with you. Have at least one penny, one nickel, one dime, and one quarter if you can, okay? Try your best to get your parent to help you find one. And then practice your word of the week, your. How do we spell it? Y-O-U-R. And then write your sentence using the word your in your journal. And then practice writing to 100 or 120. And then if you don't want to do that, you can pick a video off my YouTube playlist. I've been adding money ones, so I can't wait to know. I can't wait to see who's been watching them because I'll ask some questions from those videos, okay? And keep your book report up. And then um, on Seesaw, I probably will post a brain pop on either money or both money and plants in this soon, hopefully. And I might be going to, to the school to go get some books so I can read to y'all some more about plants, okay? And cannot wait to talk to you on Zoom this afternoon or this morning, whenever your time is. Have a great day. Don't forget to send me a picture in your Western wear. Bye.